Now I'm going to go to the next one. So this is fun. You're sure you want to find it? He's going to pick me up. I can't even pass it. He's going to pick me up. He's going to pick me up. So now, which one of the Scottish team is our BBC reporter? Which, hold, hold your arm up high. Right there. The one with the red shield using the mace. He has a, he has a camera on his helmet. We're gonna see how well that works. <laughs> but we've got Quebec on the other end. Head Marshal Igor from Quebec stands ready at the center to start this off. And in a show of good sportsmanship, the Quebec team comes forth to embrace the Scottish team. For those of you not involved in the sport, you may find it strange, but although we hit our friends with axes and swords and maces, most of us are pretty good friends. It's a small community and most of us know each other. Marshal Igor checks. Is the Quebec teams ready? Quebec signals ready. Scotland says they're ready. Is the public ready? Are all of you ready? Yeah! It's the first fight of IMCF 2018. Let me hear you. Yeah! Quebec team comes out in a line. Scottish team looks to break ranks with them. Oh, takes a heavy shot. The BBC reporter pretty much looks lost. <laughs> Hit someone that with the thing you're holding in your hand. <laughs> um, oh, it's a power slam. It's a 1v1. Scotland and Quebec. Oh, it's a tie. Quebec, you, you can't be head fighters for trophies. Not allowed. We still got one over here in the corner, I'm sorry. We got a 1v1, it was blocked from my view. If you don't think these guys are friends, look at all that hugging. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these fighters are wearing anywhere between 40 and 60 kilos of armor. They've been out there for over a minute fighting against uh, another man approximately their size, maybe a little bigger in the case of the Scottish fighter. Right now, their lungs are burning and their arms are tired, but they are not giving up. Let's give them a little bit of support. Let's get some cheers going for these gentlemen. Ooh, big punch with that mace. They're still going at it, ladies and gentlemen. Neither one of these men will give up. Uh, looks, oh, and it looks like the Scotsman is down. No, we can get it done. Yeah. Chancellor. Big British Castle. Okay. And the second round is on. Let's hear some cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Scotland breaks left. Oh, Quebec breaks into the backfield. Watch your back. Oh, big hit and two go down. We got a 1v1. It's Andres Pearl taking on the BBC presenter again. And uh, first thing, drop your weapon. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, and down. That's a good one. Stop the fight. Stop fight, stop fight, stop fight. They'll always stop the fight if it's three on one. 
Because unlike in Hollywood movies, you're not going to win three on one. It just takes one of them to hold you and the other two to beat you. It might take a while for them to beat you into the ground, but they'll get you there. That's true. Very true. Right. Well, I'm going to sign off now, and I'm turning the microphone over to the cable hands of David, a Scottish native who will be with you for the rest of the day. So next up, we're going to have a brief break while we get ready for the polearm group stages. And the polearms have got seriously heavy hits coming in with those weapons. So it's a serious spectacle to watch. That's the toughest of the duels categories. We'll stick around and watch it.